This article is called There's None Else Beside Him, and it was spoken by Bala Salam, and it was recorded by his son, Rabash. It is written that there is none else beside him, meaning that there's no other power in the world with the ability to do anything against him, and what man sees, namely that there are things in the world which deny the household of above, is because he wills it so. In other words, it is purposely built that we see a system that we feel that there are good and bad events. And we feel that there is an opposing force to our good, that there's something that prevents us from feeling good. And the reason that this occurs is because the upper force itself wants this to happen. There's a purpose. It wills it so, because there is no other force that can actually make this occur. And it is deemed a correction called the left rejects and the right adducts, meaning that that which the left rejects is considered correction. This means that there are things in the world which from the beginning aim to divert a person from the right way, and they reject him from holiness. He's saying here, that this experience of not being able to sense the Creator directly, of this feeling of this force pushing us away, this is called the correction. This is a force by which something occurs that allows us to transform. It's part of this system of guidance. And it's called that the left re rejects, that is, pushes away, and the right adducts, draws closer to the Creator. We're speaking here about a person who wishes to feel the Creator, not just the normal events of life, even though they're structured the same way, because all of the levels of nature work by exactly the same principle. But this means that there are things in the world which from the beginning aim to divert a person from the right way, and they reject him from holiness. That means when a person desires to feel a sensation of the Creator, to know the laws that govern their life, to taste holiness, which is kedusha, which means to, to be separated, to be apart. That quality of kedusha is the quality of the will to bestow. It is completely separated from this world. It is completely above it. So there are things that are purposely in the system that cause a person not to be able to sense this holiness. And the benefit from these rejections is that through them, a person receives a need and a complete desire for God to help him. This pushing away, once there is a desire, once there is an intention to know the Creator, this pushing away does what we have seen in the whole system of nature. It causes a need. It means that there is a specific need that is being built, not a need for this or that thing, for cars, for wealth, for, for food, for sex, for knowledge, for power. No, it's building a particular need. The benefit from these rejections is that through them a person receives a need and a complete desire for God to help him. The desire that's being built is the desire directly for God, directly to God. Yasher Kel the desire directly for what is above. Since he sees that otherwise, he's lost. In other words, they need a, a connection with the higher force that guides everything. Not only does he not progress in his work, but he sees that he regresses. That is, the more one needs this, the more the light exposes the difference between his inner condition and the state of the light. This is called the revelation of evil. What do we need this for? We need this because this is our means of measurement. It's by the contrast that we know something. We measure the scope of love, the completeness of the thought of creation, against the barrier in which we begin to sense our own nature. So not only is the nature of, of the Creator and the upper world revealed to us through this process of contrast, our own nature is revealed. And the greater the desire to receive grows, specifically with this desire to receive contact with the Creator, the greater the amount of the sensation of the Creator can fill it.